the solvent waste container, we're going to take the end of the mixing wand and remove the cap, place it off to the side. We're then going to come all the way up to the top of the gun and we're going to dispense solvent and then dispense air to flush the solvent out of the mix chamber making sure that we have a complete fill of solvent coming through the mixing gun and through the mixer and by pushing using the air it will push the excess solvent through the mix tube. Remove cap on the catalyst supply jug and add at least two gallons of preferred MEKP to the jug and supply container. This is our catalyst pump. We want to turn the catalyst ball valve, which is a yellow handle ball valve, to the recirculation position. Solvent, or actually catalyst, will exit this tube and come all the way back into the supply container. Catalyst will then come from the supply container into the catalyst pump. We come back to the back of the drive arm, disengage the drive arm pin, grasp the catalyst drive arm, and pump the catalyst pump up and down until pressure appears, a little bit of pressure appears on the gauge. As you're pumping the catalyst pump, catalyst will exit from this tube and enter into the supply container. We want to come back to the catalyst recirculation ball valve and turn it in the off position. We then want to come back to the catalyst pump drive arm and hand stroke the catalyst pump until the catalyst pump gauge reads 200 to 300 PSI of catalyst pressure. Once it reads that, as you pump this, and once you read that, stop pumping. With the gun in a down position, we are now going to turn the gun in the on position. In the on position, the air motor will not operate because our regulator is dialed at zero PSI. We are now going to grasp the catalyst pump drive arm to prime the catalyst pump, allowing the catalyst and air to purge through the gun and exit the mixing tube. By doing this, you will eliminate any air entrapment that may be and completely fill the catalyst line into the gun. So as the catalyst is starting to exit the mixing nozzle, you want to stop pumping, come to the gun, turn it to the off position. Making an install video. After priming the catalyst pump, we will then come to the air solvent flush, purge any solvent out of the mixing tube, add a little bit of solvent, turn it off, and then go ahead and return the air flush valve on, purging and drying the mixing nozzle. To elevate the ram, we come to the ram control valve and we pull it in the up position to allow the ram and pump to lift to the full height position. At this point, put it into a safety position, put it in the middle of, the, of it in the neutral position. Here. With the material drum installed and in place, we will then connect the drum clamps 
that mount to the rams of each side of each side of the machine. We will then install these clamps. There's two each. I'm sure. With the drum centered, we want to lower the ram by pushing the valve into the down position, making sure that the drum is centered to the rubber lip flange seal, and make sure that you do not get your fingers near there, for you do not want them to be pinched off. As it's being pressed down, you're going to unscrew and pull the vent pin out to make sure that you see putty and exiting this point at this point here. Once you notice the putty is exiting, put pin back in and screw it down tight. With the drum centered over the follower lip seal, we will then reach up to the regulator dialing the regulator up to increase pressure to the air motor. But at this time, the air motor will not, and the pump will not operate until you engage the gun.